It's a tradition focused on health and wellness. The Gov Cup returns this June for its 50th year. MTN's John Riley breaks down the history behind the long running event. Since its inception, hundreds of thousands of runners have participated in the Governor's Cup. Those running this year will be celebrating a special anniversary. Presented annually by Blue Cross Blue Shield, the Governor's Cup will celebrate 50 years on Saturday, June 8th. As the name would suggest, the Governor's Cup was uh, uh, founded by, uh, at that time, Governor Thomas Judge. His fitness on, on health, wellness, and lifetime sports uh, developed this run uh, to encourage fitness and uh, physical activity across Montana. The first Governor's Cup was held in Bozeman on Memorial Day in 1974 with under 100 runners participating. The following year, the event was held in Missoula, and in 1975, the race came to Helena, where it would remain. Blue Cross took over managing the race in 1979. We're very proud to uh, present the race. It, uh, it you know, really represents everything we believe in as far as physical fitness, uh, uh, mental wellness, active communities, active uh, families, and just making um, communities healthier as a whole. The Governor's Cup includes a number of races for all ability levels, from the marathon to the fun run. For the 50th anniversary, there are already more than 2,300 runners signed up with more than 130 marathon runners. Numbers organizers expect will continue to grow leading up to race day. Haynes says one of his favorite parts of the Governor's Cup is how it is truly a family event with generations participating. I've seen some kids who have started with our kids marathon program running laps around their school playground to yeah running 5Ks or then they're getting their families together running uh, a 5K or a 10K. It's just um, seeing names because I obviously see whoever signs up. So seeing names year after year or like families grow year after year. It's just it's just really neat experience. The Governor's Cup would not be possible without the volunteers. Organizers say it takes around 300 volunteers to make the annual event a reality. Organizers say there's still a great need for volunteers this year. And just like the races themselves, there's volunteer positions for all abilities. You can find out more by going to their website. In Helena, John Riley, MCN News.